also today, everyone wants to know the answer to this. The report of the text message from Hunter Biden to a Chinese deal maker with suspected ties to the Chinese government saying, send me the money now or my dad, who is right next to me and everyone he knows will be very unhappy, basically, if you don't send us the money. Watch this earlier today. Interesting exchange, confrontation of the president. Watch. President Biden, how involved were you in your son's Chinese shakedown text message? Were you sitting there? It's were you involved? Were you involved? No, involved? I wasn't. Were, you, I don't know. were you? No. No, he said. So he says no. I think he said no to the question, were you sitting next to him at the time? But was he? These allegations come from IRS whistleblower Gary Shapley, who says it was enormously frustrating for him as a career top agent. They were ready to move on this case. He said they had what they needed, and then suddenly the whole thing got blocked as the 2020 election moved closer. Between April and June of 2020, we, uh, we drafted an affidavit to execute search warrant in a couple of different locations. And the prosecutors at the time stated that probable cause had been achieved. But as we, we moved closer to the election, um, it just seemed like they kept putting it on the back burner and they eventually didn't allow us to do that search warrant, even though the legal requirements to execute that search warrant were met. Kerry Shapley's attorney, Tristan Levitt, joins me now. Tristan, thank you very much for joining us today. It's good to have you with us. My pleasure. Good to be here. So one of the things that he talked about, your client, Mr. Shapley, talked about it in the interview that he did with CBS, was he said there were certain investigative steps that we weren't allowed to take that could have led us to President Biden. And then they said, you wanted to take them? And he said, we needed to take those steps, and you weren't allowed that is correct. Can you shed some more light on that for us? Absolutely. So, for example, the text messages that have been coming out, they're, they're from WhatsApp, actually, as a result of a warrant that the IRS served on Apple for the contents of the iCloud backup for Hunter Biden. Those are a clear example of something where there's a financial nexus, there's something for the IRS to investigate, and it, prosecutors told them, no, you can't ask any questions about the dad, you can't follow up on those, the location, for instance, geolocation data of where they were sent from. Uh, there are a host of other examples that are in the transcripts that were released by the Ways and Means Committee recently, but they include turning down subpoenas and search warrants for the Biden family residence, for the Delaware residence. They include tipping off uh, the Bidens for other searches that were intended to be done. In just a host of ways, prosecutors again and again uh, limited the investigation and stopped investigators from doing yeah. what they needed to do. And these are individuals at the FBI, sir? Or at the IRS? These, so. The IRS. So Gary Shapley is a senior uh, a supervisory I know he is. IRS. I'm saying the people uh, who were turning back on the prosecution, they were also IRS? No, the individuals that were shutting this down were from the Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office. So the IRS was gung ho, the FBI was gung ho. It was the Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office where, particularly a, a single assistant U.S. Attorney, kept saying, no, we're not going to be able to expand those other things. We can't look at the extent beyond just Hunter. Yeah, um, and we've seen the, the uh, evidence of that as well. Here's Merrick Garland denying that David Weiss wasn't in charge of this whole investigation and could have pursued charges on anything he wanted. Watch this. Mr. Weiss had, in fact, more authority than a special counsel would have had. He has complete, he, has, he had and has complete authority, as I said, to bring a case anywhere he wants in his discretion. But is it true that Mr. Shapley um, said that there were they tried to pursue this in D.C. and also in Los Angeles and were shut down in both places and that there are other people who can testify who were in this meeting who heard this said and done? Yes, so you see, and in California. And until now, because Merrick Garland denied this, a lot of people have been asking, is this about Gary Shapley versus Merrick Garland? Mm -hmm. But it's about what U.S. Attorney Weiss said. Additionally, last night, the New York Times reported that they have independently confirmed the account that California blocked charges from being brought. So yeah. others are picking up these pieces that the whistleblowers have brought forward. There needs to be an investigation moving forward from here beyond just these two whistleblowers to figure out what happened in the DOJ and why it is that Merrick Garland is sharing what's obviously inaccurate information. 
information. Uh, yeah, and uh, Mr. Shapley is going to be on with Brett Baer tonight. We have seen a bit of that interview, and we're going to be watching that very closely. I just want to give this to everybody at home so they have one more piece of information here. This is Hunter Biden demanding $10 million from Chinese energy, a Chinese energy firm because he says the Bidens are the best and have connections. Here's what he says reportedly in this WhatsApp message that was released by House Oversight yesterday. Um, they say this is Hunter Biden on a WhatsApp message. I'm tired of this, Kevin. I can make $5 million at any law firm in America. If you think this is about money, it's not. The Bidens are the best I know at doing exactly what the chairman wants from this partnership. Please do not quibble over peanuts, he says, because he was angry. It was supposed to be 10 million. And then I guess they were trying to lower it to 5 million. Um, does your client, from his investigation, know what it was that the chairman wanted from this partnership and what the Bidens were offering him? The, the, the influence there comes back to this company, the CEFC. We know that they paid the 5.1 million 10 days later. And this is an example of many instances where basically Hunter was just selling the family name. And that's something the American people needs to be able to see more closely and in depth what happened. So that was what they were so good at, um, influence and using their family's name to get what this Chinese company would want. Is that an accurate representation based on your client's understanding? That's what it looks like from the WhatsApp messages, right. yes. They, 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 whatever they wanted, the Bidens were able to try and sell those things. It's fascinating. And it, uh, it's definitely getting more interesting by the day. Tristan Levitt, thank you very much. Good to have you here today. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.